that is like the most Marissa thing I can do. Hey guys, good morning, happy Sunday. I wanted to film a video first thing this morning for a couple different reasons. Um, one, I did just wanna say thank you for all of your sweet and kind messages and comments and just everything. You've all just been very nice about the whole situation of my car getting broken into. I am having a much better day today, thankfully. <laughs> But I'm gonna tell you a little bit of a story. <laughs> so yesterday I was having a little bit of a hard day. I was just frustrated. I couldn't find exactly what I needed to get my new license. Last people that are supposed to be fixing my car, um, I called three different times. And then this last time that I called yesterday, they tried to tell me that they didn't have any of my information in the system. <sighs> So now they can't come out and fix my window until Wednesday. You hear a lot going on in the background. It's because my kids are behind me coloring and being so loud, <laughs> crinkling paper. But so to get that fixed, I have to pay my deductible on my car insurance. And then I opened up my mail yesterday and I had a collection bill in the mail from my old insurance that I just switched from like two months ago because we had nothing thing but issues with them like their billing was ridiculous it was terrible sent us to collections um, for $200 a month before that they sent me a $100 overpayment check but I don't even know where the $200 came from that they sent me to collections for and it was just really frustrating because I was kind of being like what what next like why me the opposite mindset I try to have in life because I truly believe that life isn't happening to me it's happening for me I'm not totally sure on the reason that um, my car got broken into and I've had to deal with all of this I like to think that it was for the greater good of the world so <laughs> I'm gonna go off of that. A little emotionally yesterday, I was just kind of having a hard day. I was overwhelmed with all the stuff going on. Um, and then my friend texted me and asked if I wanted to go to Ikea with her and do a little shopping. So I'm so excited because I have not been out of my house at all. And we went and we had an amazing day. She is a wonderful friend and we just had a blast. So we get to the story. So I don't have a wallet, obviously. I don't have a purse and I'm not a person that has like backup wallets. Um, I have one that I loved and I kept time last year and it's been such a good wallet to me. Um, but I don't have any backups. So, and I also obviously do not have a debit card. It's still not here yet. So we had some cash in our jar. It was like 200 and twenty dollars or something i don't know so i had to use part of it for my new license which i did end up getting which is nice <laughs> Stella <laughs> made me take a new picture at the license place yesterday which i did not think they would i thought i was just getting a duplicate and <laughs> it's rough it is rough since i don't have a purse or a wallet because again i'm not the type of person to keep a bunch of those i put the money in my zippered coat pocket i was like well at least it's zippered i won't lose it i didn't lose it <laughs> We went to Cheesecake, we went to Anthropology, we just went like a couple really random places, and then we went to Ikea. Hey babies. Hello. Googly eyes? Googly eyes. Really have to give you the background on this story for it to make like really what was going on in my head make sense. Where are you, Daddy? Daddy's outside. Are you, oh, are you talking to him on the phone? I'm sorry. Yes. Where are you? <laughs> Hi, baby. We were at Ikea. I told my friend in the checkout, I was like, you know what? I might need to borrow a dollar so I don't need to break my $100 bill. As the worker at Ikea was checking me out, I saw straight ahead, I saw this big like bin with toys and money and stuff in it for needy kids. I saw a bunch of $1 bills in there. He told me my total and it was 27 something and I had $28. I'm like, wow, so perfect. Um, so then I give him my $28, I get my change, I get my receipt, Ellery starts heading towards the door and I head straight to the toy bin. I wanted to put the extra dollar that I had in the toy bin. The extra dollar that I had. You rewind the story back 30 seconds, you'll realize that I didn't have an extra dollar. Okay, God. Anyway, I prance over there and I throw my money in and I walk out. I really, really try to donate to things when I see them, especially when it comes to kids. Um, 
so yeah, I just thought I was putting my extra dollar in there. We get to Target because I'm almost out of diapers, so I needed diapers. I wanted to get a wallet because I didn't want to lose my things. We're walking up to Target and I'm feeling in my pockets and I'm like, oh my goodness gracious, I don't have my $100 bill. And Mallory's like, seriously? I was like, maybe it fell out of my pocket. I go in her car, I look around, I'm like looking through all my stuff and I could not find it. She goes, did you put it in the toy bin? And I was like, no, 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 I couldn't have done that. <laughs> I put my $100 bill in this toy bin that had a bunch of $5 toys, $1 bills, and just a fat $100 bill. She said that and I looked at her and I was like, that is exactly what I did. Exactly, oh my gosh. So at this point I have zero dollars. I have no money left because I don't have a debit card. <laughs> I just gave away a hundred dollars. We're on Target at 10 o'clock at night. Also crying laughing because I was like, that is my life right now. I was just trying to be a good person and give these kids one dollar. I gave them a hundred. Insert the picture in this video somewhere of me that I took last night in Target just crying laughing. I got so much money stolen from me this week. <laughs> I have to pay the deductible. I got a collections bill and then I'm like, you know what? Take that hundred. I don't need it. I really can't get over this. I don't know if you guys are going to think it's that funny, but just after the week that I've had, it's hysterical. I am so grateful that that $100 bill that I gave away is going to kids, so that's fine. I'm not mad at myself for that. I'm glad that I gave away $100 where it matters and not to another thief that stole all of my cash before. But I think about all the money that I lost this week and I was like, where's get it together? I do want to say that I am really not upset at all that I gave it to that. I gave $100 to kids. I'm really hoping that it gets to kids. <laughs> It's fine. That is not, I'm not mad about it. Um, I was really just trying to do a good thing. Um, and I gave them $99 more than I planned. <laughs> a little annoyed that I just, I don't have any cash. <laughs> Obviously Shane has his debit card, but I still have so much Christmas shopping to do. And that's what I was supposed to be doing yesterday. And I, it's gone. So I was not looking forward to telling Shane about it. Text me and said, the only thing you have on your side right now is good karma because you're irresponsible. <laughs> I just wanted to share that little story. I cannot believe I did that, um, but I also totally can believe that I did that. So it's really been an expensive week in the Albert household, let me tell you. That story is pretty much all I wanted to share in this video. I do not know if anyone else is gonna think it's funny, but I am like literally in tears because <laughs> You guys know me personally at all. You know that that is like the most Marissa thing I can do. But it's fine because it's going somewhere good. And really all of this stuff that I've been dealing with this week, I've had so many blessings. A girl from my volleyball team and her parents sent me flowers randomly to my house and it was the sweetest thing. The like a random flower arrangement show up to my door. That was so sweet. Several people sent me money for coffee, Starbucks gift cards, um, and another girl from a different year of my volleyball team. She had an extra AirPod case, so she gave me her extra AirPod case like for free. She, people have been so, so nice and kind. Definitely frustrated yesterday and had a hard day, but today I'm feeling great. Um, I'm feeling great a license now so I can go apply for my social security stuff again and it's fine really I am feeling fine my window's gonna get fixed in a few days and we're just gonna get back to normal here <laughs> I don't really appreciate the amount of money that is gone out of my life this week I'm so grateful and blessed to be in the position that I can deal with it and that it's not like just completely breaking me um I'm very grateful for that. I'm gonna end this video right here and I think I might just edit it this morning and put it up. Um, the Packers play the Bears in a couple hours so I need to be ready for that. But thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. I appreciate you all more than you will ever know. And I will see you next time, bye.